Good morning. Welcome back to the course. It's about uh, 5.50 in the morning here on a Sunday. Uh, we just had a tropical depression roll through here in South Florida, so the course is a little beat up. Um, as you can see, or not see very well, sorry for the darkness, we have a bunch of um, limbs down. So we're going to do a big uh, debris pickup this morning. We're only going to be working between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m., given it's a Sunday. Um, so we got to get the course cleaned up uh, before the members um, start teeing off today. So uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, debris pickup. Given that it is so dark right now, what we're trying to do is just kind of bob and weave down each fairway and check each cart path. Um, see if there's any major debris that's blown in those areas. Uh, once the sun comes up, which it's trying to do behind a lot of clouds, um, we'll do another sweep of the rough areas around each fairway. Right now it's just too difficult to see to get over there. So basically we just want to keep zigzagging down the fairways, see what we can clean up there, certainly pick up anything on the cart pass, um, and then give it a little bit. Sun will be up and it will reveal uh, probably much more debris that we can easily uh, throw in the back here. So that's just what we're doing, just very slowly kind of zigzagging our way down uh, this is hole number four right now. We do almost have a full trunk load of debris already. Um, and there's a lot of standing water that I'm noticing as well, so we have to be careful of that. Um, but let's keep going here. Well, the sun is doing its best to help us out here. It's still pretty low light, so I apologize if you can't see that well. But we're pretty, uh, pretty full right now. Uh, you probably can't tell with that shot. I'll have to show you uh, in a little bit when the sun gets uh, up a little bit more, but we're through six. So, doing pretty well. Been doing it for about 30 minutes now. Coming up to one of our problem areas right now. We always seem to get a ton of debris in this little area for whatever reason. I guess a consolidation of some palms. Um, yeah, it looks like we got quite a few pieces to pick up. And then we'll have to uh, pretty much go back to the shop and drop off all of this stuff we have a fair bit now so let's get all these uh, pieces that you see around here and then we'll head back to the shop
dumping our first batch off. It's a pretty good amount through six holes. Get this unloaded and then get back out there. Alright, so the sun's officially up. It's about 7.15 now. Um, so basically I just went back, started at 1 again. Already have a decent pile. Um, so it just goes to show you how much uh, debris is actually on the course following that storm. Um, so now that we have much better visibility, uh, we'll just go through 1 through 18, uh, pick up whatever we find, get this place cleaned up. Uh, members should be teeing off in about 15 minutes. I believe the first tee time is at 7.30 a.m. So we kind of want to get out ahead of them a little bit. Just to show you what we're using to get our job done this morning. It's a Workman Toro. Uh, we use all Toro machines at this particular course. Um, the dump trailer is really nice for something like this. Obviously you saw me use it um, a few clips ago. It is a stick shift, so if you uh, don't know how to drive stick, stick shift, you'll learn pretty quickly. Um, it's really not that hard. But yeah, it's, a, it's pretty much of a beast of a machine. I think they're standard on most golf courses. Um, just has a nice roll cage in case you make an oopsie. Um, otherwise, yes, yeah, the perfect machine for this has uh, four gears, so it can haul when you want it to. Um, but let's keep going. So we're back through hole four for our second time. Um, and this is pretty much what we missed in our first pass. So I'm guessing by the time we get to nine again, we'll have to make another drop. If you're a fan of golf and play a lot of golf and you never want to buy golf balls again, uh, just work at a golf course. There's a random vice ball just sitting in the middle of the fairway. Might have been thrown back from the construction site over here. But yeah, probably collect over 100 balls a week, I'd say. three sixth not sure what happened here doesn't look too good grab all this all right just a little update we are through nine so we definitely have to go make our second drop of the day we're probably going to go hit 10 um, and then the shop is right off the 10th green so we'll go ahead and do that and then we got to hit the back nine we have about an hour left so we got to hurry So we're already through 15 on the back side um, and it hasn't been nearly as bad as the front. As you can see we probably have only like one fourth of a load right now. Um, at this time on the front we were already dumping our first and pretty full on our second. So we'll get through 18, probably we'll only have to dump one more time and then uh, we'll call it a day at 9am on a Sunday, get home and watch some uh, NFL football.